Alright, hello and welcome. My name is Jason Welsh and today we're going to be understanding how to material bake a very complex item. Okay, brought to me by a question inside the forums and I thought, man, this would be a really good tutorial. I didn't want to do it as a text document or anything for that matter. This video is all the way. So, first thing we're going to do is load the dog. We're going to choose a dog this time for our tutorial. That way I don't have to give any lesson files out. Uh, first off, what we have to do is break up the model into several polygroups. How I do that is go to the lasso tool and turn on frame. Okay, first polygroup, holding control and shift, I go into the head first. Okay, the head, let go. There I have that. Polygroup, group visible. Notice I didn't take my time and do each and every little tiny thing. It doesn't really matter. So next one, quickly group visible. Now if I don't get the color I want, I can just hit group visible a few times and finally get the right color, something other than red. Next, the back legs. So your model might be different than the dog, but just know that you have to get stuff that is going to interrupt with the other object. So this tail would cast a shadow on the other object if it was in the top view. So I have to segregate it so it doesn't do that. There we go. So good enough. So what will happen here is if I hit Control and Shift, now I can highlight or take and hide the model. And if I hold Control and Shift anywhere else, it shows the model out. And then depending on how far I reach, see? Like I gotta take my time. There we go. See? There we go. Okay, now that we have it in several polygroups, I want to prep the model up a little further before I go on to the next video. First off, I want to take it and go into Texture and turn on AUV Tiles. Next, I want to choose a material and I chose this Antique Bronze. I'm going to take the frame off. This is, looks very fauceted to me, so I'm going to divide up the model until I don't see any fauceted information. That looks very good. Now that that is done, what I want to do is basically save out this information, save as dog1ZTL, and then I'm going to go on to the next video so it doesn't crash or anything weird.